I'm singing, it's Mishmash, and I'm singing. Today it's we mishmash. are answering the question, why yeah, we I'm sing? Singing. Like, in, like in general? No, like why we sing songs at church. And we're making our own version of VeggieTales songs. Today, Today on Mishmash. It's time to die. Christian, you know what I love about songs? What's that? The words. Mm. I love the words to songs. Yeah. You can put great words mm -hmm. to any music. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. That's what we're gonna do today mm -hmm. in a game called Sing It Out. We got lyrics right here. Mm. We got music that we're gonna sing to, and we're gonna make something beautiful. 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 We're gonna sing it out. Sing it out. Are you ready to sing it out? I'm so ready to sing, sing it, it out. out. Let's sing, sing it, it out. out. Okay, uh, rock, paper, scissors, see who goes first. Let's do it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Yes! Mm. The lyrics for the song we're singing first are, oh, I love this one. Love my lips. I love my mm -hmm. lips. And the song we're singing too, Biscuits in the Basket? I don't know if I've known that musical score. Oh, the wait, basket. Biscuits in the Back Seat. <laughs> let's put on our reading hats, <laughs> Christian. <laughs> biscuits in I the Back Seat. I can read back seat. All right, let's sing it out. Let's sing it out. One day while talking with Dr. Archibald, Larry confronts one of his deep, deepest fears. Yeah. If my lips ever left my mouth, pack a bag and head it south. That'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. So sad. I'd be too bad. That'd be so sad. That'd be too bad. All right. Okay. Let's okay. Go, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was great. Uh, it's my turn now. Let me show you how it's done. All right. All right. How to sing, sing it out. out. Here's our next round. Mm, mm. We got our lyrics. Mm -hmm. The Bonnie song. <laughs> and the musical score. Oh, me, oh my. Oh, me, oh my. Oh, me, oh my. Oh, me, oh my. You're going to sound beautiful, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. The Bonnie, the Bonnie. Oh, I love the Bonnie. I don't love my mom or my dad. What's wrong with you? Just the bunny. The bunny. The bunny. Bunny. Yeah, I love the bunny. Bunny! I gave everything I had. Okay. Caleb, I want you to know, I think you sounded okay. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one, Christian. Ooh, hairbrush. 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 And the song that we're singing to, well, I'm singing to. Yeah, I'm not singing. Surfing on a sandwich. Not possible. <laughs> we're about to find out what that looks like. Let's sing, sing it, it out. out. Ooh. Our curtain opens as Larry, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hairbrush. Having no success, Larry cries out. Oh, wait. He's my hairbrush. Oh, where? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where? 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 Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, man. You, you know what, Christian? You sounded great. You really sounded great. It sounded like sarcasm, right? No, nope, I'm let's, being serious. Let's go to the next one before my feelings are hurt. Our next lyric. Here it is set of words, I can be your friend. You know what, Christian? <laughs> I can be their friend. And the musical score, Italian pizza. Oh. Okay, that begs the question, are there other types of pizza? Uh, there's New York, there's Chicago. Okay, all right. Yeah, 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 ever had, had deep dish? Nope. You ready to sing it out? Let's sing it out. Pizza time. Time. I can be your friend, I can be your friend any day, any weather, we can be friends and play together. Yeah, we're all pretty different. Some are skinny, some are stout, but the inside is the part that counts. Please stop. I'll be honest with you, Caleb. I think you need a little bit of support because that sounded terrible. How about the next one? <laughs> Thanks, Christian. How about the next one we do it together? I love that idea. Yeah? Let's sing this together. Let's sing this next one together. 
Hand in hand. Hand in hand. Friendship. Yeah. I right. got one. I okay. got one. I got one. I'll pick uh, this one. God is bigger. <gasps> to Blues Cruise. Blues Cruise. All right. Okay. Let's sing, sing it, it out. out. Caleb, what are you going to do? I'm going to call the police. No! You don't need to do anything. God is bigger than the bug man. He's bigger than Godzilla or the monsters on TV. Oh, God is bigger than the bug man. He's watching, watching, watching out for you and me. You know what, Christian? I think that we had a really great time singing it out. That's not fair. All oh, right, whatever, whatever, whatever. But it's time for us to check out the, the verse, verse of, of the, the week. week. Hey, how many of you guys have ever sung a song in a choir or played a musical instrument? Well, when I was in the fourth grade, I actually signed up for my school's choir and I began to play the trumpet. I didn't last too long in the choir, but I found out I really loved playing the trumpet because it allowed me to connect with my friends through the music we played. One really cool thing is I actually was pretty good at the trumpet. I kept playing and I kept getting better until eventually I was playing at college basketball games in front of some of the biggest crowds I had ever played for. My job in the band was to entertain the crowd and to encourage the team by showing them that everyone was behind them. The best way that we did this was by playing the school's fight song. The fight song was a song that everyone knew and everybody knew the words to, meaning that if I made a mistake, everyone was gonna know. And as I got to the first few games of the season, I got really nervous. Was I gonna play the song perfectly or would I make a mistake and would everyone think that I was a fool? Well, I got up to play my trumpet. I put my horn up and I got ready to play the first note and you guys are gonna have to wait until the end to actually find out how my story went. But did you know that there's a cooler story in the Bible where God is able to use praise and worship in order to do an amazing miracle? Let's go to 2 Chronicles 20 verses 21 and 22 and let's read it together. It says, after consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness as they went out to the head of the army saying, give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah and they were defeated. All right, you guys are probably dying to find out how my story went. I put my horn up, I played the first note and it was great, and I went on to play the entire song perfectly. Because of the support of the band and the crowd, the team was actually able to win a lot of games that year. But Jehoshaphat's story is so much cooler. When they were faced with enemy invasion, Jehoshaphat picked people to go in front of the army and sing worship songs to God. That might have been the craziest strategy ever, but it worked. Through the praise of Jehoshaphat's chosen men, God did amazing miracles and destroyed each of the other armies that were trying to destroy Judah. Christians today can still celebrate God through worship because of what he has done through Jesus. You see, Jesus loves us so much that he died for us and he is so powerful that he defeated death. We sing worship songs to remember that God loves us so much and that he is so powerful, more powerful than any circumstance that we find ourselves in. While my song might have been able to encourage the basketball team to win a few games, our praises allow God to do amazing miracles in our life. And that didn't just stop for Jehoshaphat. No, God can still do amazing things through our worship even today. Remember, we sing to celebrate God's love and his power. Let's go ahead and read this verse again and talk about it.
If there is one thing I love to do, it's to sing. Yeah. Ever since I was a kid, I loved belting out songs and singing my heart out for fun. Now, if you don't believe me, watch this. Happy birthday to you. Ah, yep, a voice of an angel, I know. I loved singing wherever I went, whether it was at church or at the grocery store, the park, or in the car with the windows down and the radio up high. So much fun. And uh, while my family might not have loved it, I sure did. And of course now, I'm a total professional and even write some awesome bangers. Don't believe me? Let me remind you of this gem. Yeah! Here we go! We don't talk about who? We don't talk about Bruno! We don't talk about Bruno, no, 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 no. We don't talk about Bruno! We don't talk about Bruno, no, 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 no. I told ya. And then came the one thing that totally changed my entire life. This little thing called karaoke. Yeah. What? Um. Come on, guy. I'm gonna That's start it good. with a no. Nope. No. No. Who here loves a good karaoke sesh? Mm. Me too. Me and my friends love to sing karaoke. And for those of you who said yes, get your voices ready because this is your time to shine. It's time to karaoke it up. Let's do it. First song is Peaches by Bowser himself. Let's hit it. Ooh, you guys have good voices. Let me hear ya. Belt it out. Peaches, 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 peaches. I love half you. Wow. Who knew you guys were all singers too? Y'all sound good. And while singing is obviously a lot of fun, did you guys know that singing can also be powerful too? It's true. In the Bible, we see a story of Jehoshaphat and God's people about to face war with a huge army coming against them. As they began to make their way into battle, we see Jehoshaphat appoint people to lead their army into battle and to begin singing and giving praise to God. Could you imagine that? I thought karaoke was serious business. Well, hi guys. Uh, my name's Carissa. Um, here to do karaoke. Is everyone ready? Yeah? And any requests? You? Yes? But literally, they were about to go to war. There were probably huge swords, and ugh, heavy shields, helmets, and crazy sharp spears. Yet the people that were chosen to lead this army into battle was the choir. You are the light of the world we sing. I am your child, light it up through me. You are the light of the world we sing. I am your child, let's go to war! Why would they put the choir at the front? Why not the men with the strong swords and weapons 
to be at the very front lines? Well, it's because they were putting God first, ahead of their battle. They knew that singing praise to the Lord not only is to tell Him how amazing He is, but an opportunity to tell Him that they trusted Him, no matter the outcome of the battle. The Bible also says that as soon as they began to sing, the Lord wiped out and completely destroyed the enemy's army. <laughs> wow, our God is powerful. You know, each and every weekend during our services, we have a time called worship. Now, there's many different ways we can worship God, but this is our very own time when we get to sing and celebrate who God is, just like God's people did. And we don't worship God through music just at church, but we can sing and celebrate God anywhere. And while you may not be like Jehoshaphat and have an actual war or battle you're about to fight, you might have a test you're worried about or a family situation you're dealing with. Maybe a new school with new friends, a big soccer game coming up. Those are sometimes battles we face in our lives. And I wanna challenge you, whatever you face, would you choose to sing and praise first before ever fighting it? Our singing and our praise matters more than we realize. And just like Jehoshaphat and God's people, we sing to celebrate God's power and love. Oh wait, <clears throat> I mean. We sing to celebrate God's power and love.